In the name of Allah, the most merciful, the most precious, Mr. Ahmed Jumai, the English teacher. Welcome to grade 10A, 10B, 10D. Today, inshallah, we are going to finish our selection, the pit and the pendulum. Last time, we finished the first part of the story. Today, we are going to achieve our task for finishing that selection in details. Now, let's have a look in that presentation together. As we mentioned before, the title of the story, The Pit and the Pendulum, the author's name is Edgar Allan Poe, and the setting of the story is Toledo, Spain, late 17 or early 1800s. 1800s. Here we can, we can summarize that the author, he finds that he is tied to a platform, platform a sharp steel pendulum swing above him and descends towards him slowly and steadily. Beside him is the pit, rats crawling out of it. Days passes and the pendulum moves lower and lower. The narrator is given food and water. The author here thinks of a way to escape. He wipes uses from the meat on his bones. The rats now throw the ties and the narrator is free. His jailers are watching, though they pull up the pendulum. The wall of the cell begin to glow with heat. They start to move in war. The narrator is forced closer and closer to the pit. What breeds terror? What causes your heart to race and your palm to sweep? Perhaps it's deserted LA, a smiling dog, a shadowy stranger. Here let's have a look at the author's style. A writer's style is the particular way he or she uses language to communicate ideas. Some writers are famous for their dis dis distinctive, innovative style. This is true of Edgar Allan Poe, whose dark, suspenseful work, suspenseful works help create the genre of modern horror literature. And here are the following five characteristics of his style. Number one, first person point of view, in which the narrator expresses emotional intensity. Repeated or repeated some words or italized them. Here he used long sentences or sentences with interruptions. Strange or sensory image. In his writing, he used my eyes. Strain from their sockets. A sharp sense of pain shot through every nerve. Every nerve. As you read, think about how Paul's choice of natural affects the tone of the work. Here, what we conclude that Edgar Allan Poe, one of the best writers in the USA. In one way that you can make sense of his writing as you read is to paraphrase or recite information in your own words. Now let's have a look now in that selection from the story. Read the passage and answer the questions by Edgar Allan Poe. The setting of the story to lead to Spain late. 1700s or early 1800s that the setting of the story so we can highlight some of the main the main points in our selection like the story element the setting the author okay let's have a look in question number one where did the story take place or the story where did the story happen mean the setting so that's question number one, Toledo, Spain. Question two, 
What was the narrator's sentence? His punishment. The narrator has been condemned to death. Number three. What happened to the narrator in the prison? The narrator given food and water, I think. The next sentence is the answer of that question. What did the prisoner think of? He think of way to escape. Question number five. Who is the author of this of the of this short story? Edgar Allan Poe. Last question is it for you and you have to answer that question yourself what are the good things and bad things in this short story that the end of reading for literature the pit and the pendulum now let's move to the writing part now my students after we watch that video i'd like to remind you with the writing process number one you have five steps in writing your essay. Number one, pre-writing, writing, revising, editing, and publishing. Here, let's have an example. Dog and cat. Dog versus cat. This is a lengthy argument which one is better, a dog or a cat? Which one would you rather have as a pet? A loyal little dog or a lovely puffy cat using the best reasons and data that you can come up with. Convince your readers which animal is the best and why. At the end of that selection I'd like all of you now to start writing your essay. Be sure or make sure that everything clear you have to provide your answer with evidence and reasons. After that, check your answers, check your words, vocab. Finally, I'd like to thank you so much for being here with me during distance learning. Finally, thank you so much. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.